Haremne. This is Patil Tutunjian coming to you from Yerevan. That kind of rhymes. Today I'm going to a restaurant with only $10. You guys really like the video of the $10 shopping, so I was like, let's see what I can get food related at a restaurant for $10. Let's go. The reason why I'm going to a restaurant is because I just came back from Lebanon and I don't have groceries to actually cook. What's that now? I never cook? Oh, I thought we're not sharing that on the video. Where were we? Yeah. This just got awkward. Just sometimes, based on your cooking skills and dedication, it's cheaper if you live alone in Armenia to just eat out. I mean, based on where you go and all of that. And like I said, oh, the puppy in the video. Yeah, so really based on your cooking skills and planning skills and dedication of cooking, but sometimes it's really cheaper. That's my excuse. Seeing the logo, that's the Aleppo Citadel Castle, Citadel. Um, so this is a Middle Eastern restaurant. I haven't made reservations, so hopefully it will be good. Um, and so many people on social media recommended me to come and try the food here. This is a mid range restaurant so like the price ranges you'll see here are mid-range a lot of people have been asking me if we're coming in the summer like what are the prices like so you'll see today for a, an app like not an app like a mid-range restaurant what the prices will be we're inside I just want to show you the decor real quick it's very like homey for me because it's very Aleppo themed and you guys know I'm from Syria um, and the team here and the family that owns this restaurant is super friendly so I haven't even eaten yet and I already recommend it okay let me show you the decor real quick And my 5,000 dirhams, which is $10, are ready to order. So let's look through the menu together and then let's get some food. I'm also like really bad at math, so we'll see how this goes. that I have glasses, I removed them. Oh sorry, I look cute today, right? I think I look cute today. Anyway, I ordered their special kebab, uh, horovats, and it's gonna be something spicy, so I'm excited, I'll show you guys. And I also ordered the baba ganoj, which is like an eggplant, appetizer, salad-y type of thing. I also got the tan, which is the yogurt drink, which I like with the Middle Eastern food. It's either that or obi usually, and I'm like, I start now so I just went with the safer choice I'm loving this background okay I'm excited let's see as we wait for the food I forgot to ask you guys what are your favorite restaurants recommend them I came here because someone recommended it so I might go there and eat there and I think the food I got for today will be like enough for two days for me um, but it's okay. I'm still excited. I like taking leftovers and eating them later. Things are arriving. Oh, oh, shaky, shaky. This is the eggplant salad. It's not like the baba ganoush I know, but I actually have had this before. It's more like a salad, which is more fresh, and I really like that. So let's try. So this is the time. Yenat. Mm. So 
so good. So it has green onions or regular onions. I think it's green onions. And eggplants, cucumber, tomato, parsley, and lots of secret sauces that as a professional chef, I don't know what they are. I'm so excited. Also earlier, I lied, it's not cucumber, it's green peppers. I can't even tell those things apart. Okay, let's try this kebab. I'm really excited for it. Also, being the great YouTuber that I am, I forgot to bring my tripod. So now you guys are leaning on a glass and then hopefully this height will work for the food showing. So juicy, juicy. I said that very Armenian. Look at that. Mm. This is amazing. check the ingredients before I start spreading fake news again so this has nuts parsley and obviously it's ground beef and I think onions I think onions No onions, so parsley and nuts. I have so much left over. The portions here are pretty big actually. This is a lot. But this will not go to waste. I am taking it to go and I will definitely eat it later at home when I don't cook. Do you guys also drink tea after food? It's really hot. Or do you eat like Anush Banira? What are your traditions? Anyway, um, if you are enjoying this video, please like, share, eat some kebab, and tell someone, and subscribe. Oh, and ring the bell thing. I was told that's apparently something that I'm supposed to say. Look at the success this time. Not like last time's grocery shopping where I went over. So we came under and then we'll lift tip and then it will be perfect. So this whole meal, which will last me for two days, maybe three, was for under $10. So, okay, I'm gonna finish my tea and then I'm gonna go. And then I'm gonna pay also, but I'll talk to you guys outside. Okay, I'm out, I'm full, and I wanna show you this really cute tree on the way. Also, this background is, I don't know what kind of store this is, but look at this tree. Can you tell? It's like there are really cute flowers or flowery type things on it. It's not really showing on the video. And this is a cake store that has a mirror so I thought you guys can see my outfit because earlier I said I look cute so this is me that's me and I forgot to tell you guys the address of this restaurant it's on Tumanian and Parbeti and it's called Yasmin like Jasmine okay on that note now that you guys have seen my outfit it's almost 8 p.m. here in Yerevan. It's still very bright outside. It's really, really hot. So I'm thinking I might go get an ice cream. Plus, I have to go pay my electricity bill, which I know a lot of you told me something is called my eye. A lot of you told me that I can do that online. 
I just haven't gotten to figuring that out so I'm doing it the old-fashioned at the machines so I'm gonna do that so they don't cut my electricity and thank you for watching love you guys so much let me know what you think that's it bye